Hey YouTube, what's poppin' this, your boy Pookie here. Right, we've got a nice review here today. This is the VRX Racing, the BF4. And there is two different versions of this, so this is the normal version, not the rock version. I think the only difference between the two is this has a open diff, whereas the rock crawler version can have a lock diff, so we still have the option to lock the diff at this at any point, so that's probably what I'll end up doing. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna open the box now, and uh, yeah, let's get it open. So now we've got the box open there, let's see what we get inside, so we get the instruction manual and we also get the charger in there, so we get the instruction manual for the control and we also get it for the actual car itself. Got a little uh, rear, uh, what I don't know if you call them, rear bar system that you mount onto there, so that's pretty good, gives it more of, the, more of an aesthetic look. Oh, do you know what, the, these tyres are massive. I don't like the look of these, to be honest, they're massive, but I don't really like the look of the grip. You know, they're just really flat, dead monster truck style. I'll probably end up changing these wheels, and we'll put some different wheels on that. But they are huge, definitely huge. We'll get them out. See what we get inside this box. Get the transmitter in this box. And I believe this is one of the Fly Sky versions. This is the Fly Sky FS GT2. Not a bad uh, transmitter. It's actually quite good that you get uh, a decent hobby grade transmitter with this. Quite nice. Actual fully extendable antenna there. That's nice. We'll just move that out of the way. We'll come to see the car basically. So let's get everything out of the box. We'll move on to the car itself. Get the box out of the way. <laughs> let's have a look at this bad boy. That is nice. Do you know what? I love the way the suspension is on it. I've been wanting a car with a suspension that's like this. Because the amount of flex that you'll end up getting on this. I just don't know if I'll be able to show you. Got some nice flex there. I like it, I like it. <laughs> it's even got like a little bumper on the front. That's pretty cool, I like that. Servos, I don't know if you can see under there, the servo is mounted right up the front. Up. Uh, above the wheelbase, so that's quite good. They've kept the center of gravity on this quite low from what I can tell Everything's put down at the bottom, which is a good thing with something like a rock crawler or something like this. I'm just taking the pins out And we will see what is underneath da, 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 da. Ooh. This is a lipo powered. I think this is going to be a NICAD battery I don't think that makes any difference. We can probably plug the LiPo battery into this, so that's not a problem. I'll just upgrade the ESC on it. Really, really cheap to do. But yeah, to be honest, it doesn't say much. Oh, there we go. Yeah, NICAD battery, 7.2 volt. Yeah, yeah, I'll probably not change the connection. If I blow the ESC, put in a brushless, motor on it, a brushless battery on it, then so be it. I'll just change that out. It's not a problem. They're about what a tenner they are quite cheap so yeah overall i think it's a really nice car i'm not gonna uh, complain with it I'll, i've been wanting one of these kind of crawlers before uh, i believe these are oil filled shocks as well that's quite nice mm, quite quite good but you know what you get for your money is quite quite good i think it's about priced at about 150 quid you know 150 pounds don't quote me on that uh, but yeah, let's get this thing put together and we'll we'll take it outside. So yeah, catch you outside guys.